So you've got an upset employee. Maybe you have a couple upset employees or employees who are upset at each other. Do you know what to do? If you don't, I have some great tips for you. And if you like these tips, follow me for more. It's really tough when an employee is upset. And I feel like the first thing we do as just human beings is we wanna solve it for them right away, right? But that's not the first thing to do. So when an employee comes to you upset, listen. Don't think in your head like, how do I solve this problem? What am I gonna do? And Or don't put your own situations into it. One time this happened to me too. I do that all the time. So I have to watch myself as well. So when someone comes to you upset, really listen to them. Ask clarifying questions so that you can understand the situation totally. And when they're done, the next thing to do is ask, did you just want to vent or did you want me to help you handle this problem? And they'll think about it and they'll be like, oh, wait a second. Did I just want to talk about it? Or am I looking for help? And then you can, based on that conversation, figure out, okay, we're just listening. Or the other is, okay, we're going to jump in and help and then figure that out with them. A little tip if you have two employees that just happened just yesterday, I had two people that were upset. Sometimes in those situations, they get quite heated. And so in that situation, we we want to listen, but we also want to make sure that we don't allow those two people to escalate to the point where it gets really upsetting, right? And what you can do in that situation is say, hey, I just want to pause us for a second because it's getting a little heated in here and I want to come to some type of solution together. In that situation for me, I'm always like, let's pause. And so at that point, we're like, let's take a time out. Can we agree to not, eat? sometimes it's not speak to each other. And sometimes it's like, can we be cordial and civil until we come to a solution and then bring someone in who is great as a mediator to help these two people. Fit. And sometimes that's human resources, that sometimes it's an actual mediator to come in and help them come to an agreement because they work together. So you can't fully separate them. So it's really important. And then another little asterisk going back to just listening. Sometimes in situations as human resources professionals, we cannot just listen when someone is in danger, whether that's harm to themselves, harm to someone else, or a law is being broken like harassment, discrimination, retaliation, any of those situations, we can't just listen. We do have to take action because it's important for us to protect people in the workplace. So just know sometimes it's not a just listen. That's for you as well, managers and leaders. It is we have to take action in order to protect people.